everyone and welcome to After Buzz TV. You are tuning in for the season finale of Murder in the First, Cat's Meow. We finally know who killed Normandy. Stay tuned. You're tuning in to the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. It's a good song to end with yeah we'll it was see. given Sad. right to us you know how normally we can't think of a song <laughs> it was given right to us we are listening to what well, it's dusty trails dusty trails by lucius by lucius lucius, lucius? Don't know. tomato tomato <laughs> mm -hmm. welcome to after buzz tv <laughs> Hola, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How, how are was you? your Labor Day weekend? It was good. Yeah, good, good. dog you? sitting. Yes, I was out of town. I was out of town. Yeah. Dog sitting. I was working, but not out of town. Mm. I was just working. Right. Hi, everyone. I was also dog sitting. Sorry. I just you were also, yeah. Alexis, yeah. you were dog sitting? Yeah. Nice. Sorry, I just wanted to throw that in. I love that. Full I'm, dog weekend. A full, yeah. Just full of dogs. Yeah. I'm dog sitting kind of now. My brother's dogs are at my house. Oh, there you go. Wow. So, yeah. three dogs at the house right now. Wow, that's a lot. Three. Poor Dexter is like, just, <laughs> what's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. I am Monsi Volanos here to talk to you about the season finale of Murder in the First. Let me know what you thought about it. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Monsi Bolanos, M-O-N-S-E-B-O-L-A-N-O-S. -E Across from me, Susanna Kim. Yes, you guys can find me online at Susanna underscore Kim. It's S-U-S-A-N-N-A-H underscore K-I-M. So here we are because this, was, this aired during Labor Day. Mm. Uh, here we are covering it. We did not watch the episode together. I want to know, what did you think? Mm. Season finale. It did it live up to the expectations? Mm, no. No. Why? I don't know. I mean, I mean, I do know. It was just for me. It was really. It was kind of disappointing. It was okay. a little boring. Tell me. Tell me why. Um, I mean, I, ha I have a few reasons, but in general, I just feel like there wasn't a huge surprise. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of what we found out was what we already knew. Yes. It was, yeah, it was just like, okay, mm -hmm. they're just, like, laying out what we were speculating, mm -hmm. you know, and there was mm -hmm. no, like, turn, there was mm -hmm. no twist, there was no surprise, there was no, like, oh, ooh, you know? Mm -hmm. The extra murder that we had, I mean, well, we had two murders. I was like, really? really? Right. Two, Serena. Two more? Was, oh, was, the extra murders in this one. Got it, got it, In got this it. one episode, we yeah. have two extra murders. Like, I felt like that was so unnecessary. Yeah. Both of them. They yeah. were both, I could could have done without them. Yeah. A lot of things. Yeah. A lot of things. As we go through them, I'll pick out more. It but didn't, <laughs> yeah, to me, it didn't feel like a season finale. Yes. It was, like you said, we kind of got all of the answers answered in a sense yeah. but nothing it was what we thought yeah. it was what we thought i was shocked at how they incorporated a very big side crime alongside the main crime yeah. that we had been following for nine episodes in the last episode why why do yeah that one i was like because i really enjoyed navarro and mulk yes. doing this side and crime. i liked the case i liked me that too case, but I, why now why, why today this, i don't understand yes. what's happening right this could have been episode three it, maybe five why episode 10 why yeah. in the finale do we have to have a new set of characters yeah, no. I, I if you know if, if this comes back to season four, I hope they do this more with Navarro and Mulk. Okay, yeah. More more side crime stories right. that they're investigating on their own, still helping with the main one, mm -hmm. but seeing more of this, not episode ten. Right. Oh, that bothered me. So frustrating. I was. That's what it was about it. That I was like, this doesn't feel like a season finale because I thought we were gonna focus. I thought so much was more. So much more was gonna be revealed. Yes. And it wasn't that I didn't like the episode. I enjoyed the episode to be honest with you. Yeah. But it was. It didn't feel like a season finale. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'm gonna watch this next week. Oh no, no, I'm not. Right. Yeah. I think I felt like it wasn't a great episode because I had so many expectations. Right. Because I was like, oh, it's a finale. We're gonna right. have all these answers and all this stuff's gonna happen. And some stuff happened, but it just was not what yes. I expected. Yes. Let's Ooh. get into it. Let's start with Mario Saletti, uh, our favorite douchebag. How are you, Curry? I know, I'm sure you're going to listen to this eventually. Goodness gracious. Our number one fan, we'd like to think. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, freaking Mario Saletti. So we start off with Mario showing up to surprise his son mm -hmm. uh, with a car. Yeah. A red car. Great decision. Whatever. A parent. Killing it. Uh, he shows up, and even the son is like, you didn't have to do this. Yeah. Like, I didn't deserve, I, I kind of didn't deserve this. Right, he's like, I, I'm kind of a dick for asking for this in the first place. Right, right? and they're, but they're both kind of dicks. Yeah. So, like, they thought it was very family bonding, yeah. almost, you know? Yeah, and then he Apple was does like, does not fall far. Does not fall far at all. 
and gives him the car, says you're going to need it, you can go to college, wherever you want, mm. hands him the keys, and was like, I'll take an Uber home. Yeah. I was like, ugh. And first of all, he was like, oh, you've never been in one of these, right? You push the button on the side. He does, he, okay, Mario, your son doesn't even know how to turn it on. You're just going to let him drive off into the sunset? What? You're such a terrible dad. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just terrible. You're not going to teach him, not even going to stick around, make sure he doesn't kill himself on right. the first ride around. He's never been in a, like, a sports car like that, and they're right. dangerous. He doesn't even know how to turn it on. What if it turned off? Where and you're What's not around? Happen? You're in an Uber. Daddy, I'm gonna call you. I did think that was a little, yeah, a little weird. But <laughs> what 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 part of a Mario story hasn't been ridiculous and weird? Yes. And that whole relationship with the fam, uh, the, the, everything, all of that. Everything. So son gets the car that yeah. he wants. He's set off. You know, drives off into the sunset, like it's a, a great moment for him. And he takes off in an Uber. Mm. He goes home, has Crystal. Yeah. For his wife, yeah. Cassie. Uh. And she's like, it's 11 a.m. Uh -huh. <laughs> what are we celebrating? And to him, there's so many things to celebrate. Oh, uh, yeah. He obviously is not being charged, mm -hmm. so the case is gone. And he tells his wife that they, the settle, the, the suit has been settled or it's not even happening because right. she thinks they settled. She's like, oh, my God, you settled out of case yeah. or out of court. What are we going to owe oh, him? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, nothing. Because I'm a douchebag. And yeah. I told the lawyer that I was going to reveal that he was an undocumented immigrant. Uh, douchebag. This is ter terrible on so many levels, right? <laughs> douchebag. Terrible. Okay. Uh, yeah. To start, <laughs> undocumented immigrants, it's so sad. Like, they yeah. have no rights. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And he's just exploiting that, and he's all happy about yeah. it. He's like, like oh, right. No, no remorse. No, like, right? like, you're not human. Right? It's like he's not human. And then your your wife is not disgusted by that fact at no, all. No, no. She's just more like, well, no, we owe him money. I mean, and then we. I thought I was gonna see a little bit of humanity from her. Like, okay, you're kind of cool because she's like, no, we owe him money. We mm -hmm. killed his wife. You know, he has kids. Blah blah. Right. blah. And then and then she just goes back to being terrible because then she's like, okay, no, you're gonna give him the money or I'm gonna divorce you. And it's Where? gonna cost so much more yeah. if I divorce you. Yeah. Where are your standards? So that you're family. okay with being with a pig as long as he gives up some of his like why? Okay. So you have enough morals to say or enough ethics to right. say like, hey, we owe money to this guy. But not enough to realize you're a dick. I yeah. shouldn't be with you. What is wrong with these people? I mean, it's the like why stop there? I don't understand. Again, the same thing with the sun. They're they so are stupid. all they all blend well together. Oh, you know, so annoying. But you're right because at one point you're like, you're right, Cassie. You do owe money. Like you're supporting her, but she does it in the same sleazy way yeah. that Mario's been doing the whole episode, the yeah. whole season. Like she seriously was Mario when she was like. He's like, well, now this is blackmail. And she's like, this is leverage. Yeah. And then they start making out. Also, they never, like, really touched on the case at all. No. You know what no. I mean? No. Like, her coming out and be like, sleeping with you, whatever, you know? They didn't talk it's about like, it. Talk, you know, I wish they would have just explained maybe, was that a setup? Mm -hmm. Did she already, did she already know? Because that kind of would have been cool, like, to what see. What did he tell hey, her? She yeah. Was, yeah, she was kind of, like, on his side now, mm -hmm. trying to help him out. You know, I just... That would have been a nice conversation to see. Yes. The after conversation. Yes. I feel like there are so many things that we could have seen in this episode instead of that extra murder. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I'm just so. I agree. I wish it would have been nice that. to see them talk, like, after, whether it's when he first got home, whether it was at the courthouse. Mm -hmm. Just that conversation something. of, like, or him saying thank you. Right. Something. Because right. the way that she did it seemed so dramatic mm -hmm. and, like, she was making a point and mm -hmm. she was going to tell him off almost. But, you know, and so it would be cool to see, like, okay, was that on purpose? But no, right. you guys are just cool and having Cristal. What? <laughs> I'm so rude. I heard Cristal's not that good. Oh, yeah? We should I, try some. We, we should. add some. We should have. That would have been, <sighs> been great. I think it's like $200. Okay, well, you know. <laughs> um. <laughs> I do. I think it's like $200. Yeah. So, <laughs> so maybe season four. We'll Write start putting a dollar. Send us money <laughs> so we can buy some. <laughs> Send us a dollar each. Uh, we'll buy some crystal. We can try oh it. But God. I hear it's not as good as it, uh, the price. Oh uh, kind of like Patron. I hate Patron because mm. it's just not as good as other tequila that is less expensive and more delicious. Anywho. <laughs> so after that, uh, they have kind of like a press conference. Ugh. Where he can be more douchey yeah. to the world. Freaking so Mario annoying. Saletti. So annoying. so annoying. He has this press conference with Cesar Ramirez, who is the husband of the victim that Mario killed. killed. Mm -hmm. Mario killed. Yeah. 
Uh, and he, it's like this press conference where he's asked, like, why are you switching sides? Because he's like, it's been an honor being the DA. Now I'm going to work for blah, 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 whatever firm he's going to. And he's like, why are you switching sides? Mm -hmm. And he goes into, like, this victim answer of, like, yeah. I know what it's I like what now. It's like, yeah. Shut your face. Uh, Do you know so what it's annoying. like, Mario? Ugh. Mm -hmm. And that's when it's revealed that they've created this trust fund that's going to give them $50,000 a year until the kids turn 21. Mm -hmm. That is what they have agreed to. Great. $50,000 a year. That's barely enough to cover, like, what the wife would have mm -hmm. made yearly. Yeah. 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 Not to mention all the heartbreak and mm -hmm. trauma. I just... Yeah. 50000 a year. Way to be cheap, Mario. Way to be cheap. <laughs> but get that car. Yeah. Ugh. Right? And he's uh, asked about Melissa. He's like, how do you feel about Melissa's? And you know how we talked about this last time? How mm. we didn't like how Al was like, you derailed Melissa's career. Right. W which she did on her own. Mm -hmm. We were like, we didn't think that she should have gotten that, like, sympathy card almost. Right. Like, it was your fault. I hated that that's the only part of the pre in the preview. When they were like, in the last murder in the first. And they show you the preview of what happened. All they show of Al saying is like, you derailed Melissa's career and rips up the check and it's like that's not what was in no yeah. like you should i hate i hated that not to mention this was a finale we didn't get any more of al no, we didn't get any more of melissa nothing. i feel like we could have spent a lot of more time once again without that case yeah and spent it on like what's melissa doing now, now you know yeah. i would love to see her in like sweatpants and ice cream and like yeah. just giving up on life you know giving what i mean up i would love to, that would have been yeah. amazing to see her Seriously, like with that. her dog right yeah we want a dog here alexis <laughs> our engineer has her dog here and yes. we and were there's like, another puppy and there's here. another dog. Oh, we're just so like cute. every studio should have a dog. Yes, and I mean there have been times where people have just had like puppies all in the studios because it's just everybody brought their dog at the all same right. time. I mean, next I will time bring... I'm going to the vet next door and just <laughs> borrowing a dog. Hey, can I just borrow? It's <laughs> like, just gonna be for an hour. Yeah, right. I'll bring him right back. <laughs> oh, I will on rest, bring right? confinement. Dexter. Yeah. Yes. But Dexter is like 90 pounds, Alexis. Yeah, oh. that won't go well. So like, oh. he'll just knock stuff down. Yeah. I think it'll be adorable though. I'm gonna bring Ooh. him. Like, ah. He could put his face right here, just yeah. right over the table, <laughs> just oh, chilling, just hanging out, just chilling. So that's what we want to do next time on Murder in the First. Bunch of dogs. Thanks. Okay, but no, seriously, why? Why didn't they go? They didn't show us anything, yeah. anything that we would want to know. So much that we could have like had that we did not get. I was so disappointed. Yes. Um. So so, if we come back to f season four, okay, <laughs> will we see Mario on the what is the defense side? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think still that around? was just them setting us up for the next season. I would have liked to see a little more like, oh uh, Mario having to pay for what he did this season, but because he just ended up winning the whole he, the season, whole thing, he just won won the season. Yeah, it wasn't a game, but he won. <laughs> I just feel like they're just setting up setting him up for the next storyline for the yeah. next season. You know. So maybe next season we'll kind of, you know, this is a build up for even more like uh, hatred, tw hatred towards Mario and then they'll take it away from him. And then, the, yeah. And it'll be even more like yeah. satisfying. I mean, I, I wish we would have gotten that this season. I didn't, we didn't even finish. When I was talking about, uh, sorry, this is going to sound weird, but we were talking about what he said about, he was asked about Melissa. Why are you, why, what about oh, yeah. Melissa's career, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. He responds, res ispa locator. Mm -hmm. That's what he responds. That means... The principle that the occurrence of an accident implies negligence. Okay. That is what that means. But it's like, what? You think you're clever and cute? Yeah, right? No. It's like, oh, I'm above you. I'm going to be condescending. Shh. And then next? And then next. Oh, just moves on. But I did say at so the beginning annoying. of the season that I don't, I hate Mario. Yeah. But I don't want him gone. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, yeah. We love to hate him. We love to hate him. So, like, if season which i hope season four comes mm -hmm, around mm -hmm. that we are going to still see him yeah you know i just want to see him like pay the price and i want l to become the da yeah and then they go, just to yes. see al again just, just to see al again back. and then they go at it mm -hmm. oh that would be so good do you hear that mm. you guys hear that writers mm. producers <laughs> directors uh yes all right anything else about mario about how much we hate him love him it's just terrible just terrible he wins he just wins mm -hmm. the whole Frickin' season. <laughs> now on to the newest murder that took place on this episode with a domestic uh, violent uh, violence case. Mm -hmm. um, Navarro and Malk in this episode, which we've discussed, mm -hmm. are given their own crime to solve, and we see it throughout the entire episode, and it's really good, but why now? 
why episode 10 why yeah. the finale i love the actor i love the storyline yes i liked everything about it i yeah. also liked how uh, i mean we'll get to the end but in the end you know they made yes. it seem like oh he's you know gonna have to pay for his crimes yeah. and that was that i felt like that was more satisfying than than the the normandy um, case anything yes. with the normandy case than paul having to just be shot twice yeah. like you know what i mean yeah I, I don't know. I don't know if that made sense. Yes. But, you know, I it was like a bigger was turn. It was a bigger, more. Yeah. And it was more like, oh, he's going to suffer. He's yes. going to be in jail. And yes. I wish that that's what we would have gotten with Paul. Yes. You know what I mean? Why did they give that to this guy? I don't know. That's I agree. So I That was well said that it wasn't as satisfying. Yes. As the Normandy Paul exactly. situation. Right. <sighs> so there's a domestic violent, violence case where a woman is found beaten to death by who we think is her husband. Mm -hmm. And uh, Burnside, the medical examiner is there, and he's like, I've never seen anything like this. Right. It had to be done by a person because if it was an object, her face would have been broken in. Right. Like, it wasn't, you know, it was hu It was done by a person, which is awful. Mm -hmm. uh, the dad, my phone is dead, the actor yes. who plays the On dad it. to Maria, who is the the daughter that has been beaten to death by the husband mm -hmm. shows up and is is so impactful watching him like yes. when I've he breaks him in down a lot of stuff. me too yeah and i like how it was shot how like they were like is this you know when hildy and terry show up and ask burnside oh mm -hmm. is this her and he's like i gotta do like a a, a fingerprint test or something because right. i can't tell but the way it was so subtly shot when the dad walks in they subtly show her tattoo mm -hmm. like he noticed the tattoo really quick, yeah it was very quick and it was so like yes this is my daughter maria right i i actually really enjoyed how that was shot i thought that was very well done mm -hmm. um and then the father you know you think he is this really good father who has cared so much about his family he says that it was the the husband fitted freddy federico i don't know who uh -huh. and uh you know it's like crying really emotional like you feel for this dad yes you totally a hundred percent feel for the dad mm -hmm. and so does navarro mm -hmm. believed him believed him and i'm not saying mulk did it but like navarro had the more personal connection like they went at one point when they're talking to detective Cotto, you know detective is like oh uh, mulk is like he's got seven six uh girls at home and right he's like six i thought it was whatever it was five, five. Yeah, like, yeah, whatever six, yeah. <laughs> but with the wife it's six like navarro this hit a hit special home. spot for navarro De De detective navarro and they, you know, they go on with their day and then they're buying like a slushy at the liquor store. Mm -hmm. Navarro's is like slushy and he's like, it reminds me of childhood and type 2 diabetes. I love this. <laughs> and they get like a call about a drive-by. They go to this drive-by mm -hmm. and it's Freddy. Of the, course. Of course. Just shot and like face onto the drive, the, the wheel. Mm -hmm. Very deliberate. <laughs> Very deliberate. Very like, I'm going for you. Yeah. Like I want to kill you type mm -hmm. of thing. And there is a witness. Noah Anderson, played by <laughs> Dustin Ingram. He was funny. Loved him. Yeah. I thought he was so, every, all of his lines were so funny. Uh -huh. He was going north. Oh, no, he was going east. North. north? Yeah, north. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. You're <laughs> like, right. <laughs> all of that. It was so good. I feel like a lot of the small characters that they have in the show have Are been so really good. good. Yeah, have been strong and, yeah, yeah. I like a lot very of them. Very memorable. Mm -hmm. Like, it's very so well good. Cast. Yes, yeah. very well cast. He was really good. Everything he said, how he said it, just like the perfect witness to this situation mm -hmm. and he's like i only thought this happened in oakland yeah. <laughs> welcome to san francisco brother or right. something like that uh and like this whole time you know navarro is trying at this point they get it's a white pickup truck mm -hmm. they get a piece of the license plate they know it's a guy mm -hmm. and they talk to kiefer kiefer helps everyone in this episode and they realize this truck is uh, it's owned by a uh, caesar I think his name is Caesar. He goes from Caesar to no Angel. Angel, Angel. is the name Wait. of the dad. Yeah, right. the Angel. dad. Yeah, Silva. Angel. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Angel, and then he goes find out it's Diego, but uh -huh. whatever. Uh, they find out it's Angel, so they go to his house. Mm -hmm. They confront Angel, mm -hmm. and Angel does not deny anything. Mm -hmm. He's like, the gun is still in the car. I did what I had to do. Mm -hmm. It's my baby. He's all proud of himself. Uh huh. Yeah. The wife comes out and she has like a emotional moment with Navarro, saying mm -hmm. like, "It's just us. Like, I lost my daughter. You can't take him." And it's a very like you're still feeling for this guy. Yeah. You at this point you are like, Navarro, help him out. Yeah. Like, right. Talk to the DA. Uh -huh. Talk to somebody. Uh -huh. Like, help this guy out. And it turns out 
this is the biggest twist in the whole episode. I guess, yeah. That this is not a good guy. Uh-huh. And it's, it's. I like how we found out. Yes. I love that. The how daughter. we found, Yes, when mm-hmm. the daughter shows up. The daughter, Claudia, mm-hmm. shows up to the precinct. <laughs> and basically, like, start, even how she starts off. Mm-hmm. She's like, I haven't seen my parents until my mom called me and told me about Maria and that my dad is a hero. Yeah. Like, even the beginning, it's almost like, yeah, he's a hero. And then she's like, nope. Yeah. <laughs> my dad is not a hero. Reveals that he has beat them, like, their whole lives. Mm-hmm. That's why she left. She says some. she's like, Freddie was just like my dad. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, my my sister was a soft woman. Hard men seek soft women. Yes. It's like Joshua and Amanda and Bachelor in Paradise. <laughs> Was that too much? But you know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> I was see last night's episode. I saw Monday's episode. Oh, man. Anyways, what you know what I'm saying? Oh, Josh like and that. Amanda. Like that. Goodness. Hard men find soft women. Seriously. So true, yeah. It's not Bachelor of Paradise, but <laughs> pedal for real. Right? That is totally true. She said that, and it's like, it's so right. Yeah. You're just so right. And it's crazy, because I like the way that she painted a story that was so different, different. than what we saw, and it just mm-hmm. reminds us, like, dude, we don't know anything. We don't. Any story can be painted for us on TV or on media story, whatever, mm-hmm. and we believe it easily, but we really have no idea what's going on. We how really, easy yeah. are we, or how quick are we to judge all the time, right? you know? So I'm just like, I feel stupid, you I, know? Right? <laughs> like, they do a really good job at that, because they've done that more than once in this mm-hmm. season, so mm-hmm. I really like that the writers do that. Yeah, it was, it was so well done. I loved the girl that played Claudia, and how she came in and was very, like, and how she She's like, I'm not weak anymore, or right, I'm not yeah. soft anymore. Like, it was, uh, I loved all of that. Mm-hmm. And then you realize that he had changed his name like, from, from Angel or from mm-hmm. Diego to Angel, mm-hmm. that it, they lived in Phoenix, they had to move. He testified against what I think is La a gang, M. La yeah. M, mm-hmm. uh, right? All this stuff. And then Navarro and Mulk are like, oh, Oh, you use a bad use a bad guy. We're gonna go talk to you real quick. Okay. We're gonna go set st- we're gonna go set everything a little straight for you. So they show up to where he the cell he's being kept in, and they're like, "Hey, Diego," mm-hmm. and his face like that actor's face immediately. His and name it was is so s- Gregory Cruz. Gregory Cruz, very well done. Yes. Very well done. Again, one of those like subtle changes mm-hmm. where you can't. Almost like it's like a muscle. Yeah, like just quick. one muscle mo- changes. He was on Grimm. So that's, I'm sure we've seen him from there. His oh, name for was Hector, sure. But I don't oh, remember for sure. who he was. But yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, so good. Mm-hmm. The minute they said Diego, it was like his eyes. Yeah. He was like, so, oh, shoot. Yes. So, so good. So, so good. And uh, then he changed. He went he from did. being a soft, sweet, nice guy to all of a sudden being like, y'all, y'all don't know shit. Y'all, y'all, <laughs> y'all, y'all, yeah. Right? But yeah, tr- like, quote, y'all, y'all don't know yeah, shit. Right? Quote, yeah. that's literally what he said. Uh-huh. <laughs> totally. He, he once he realized, well, you know, I'm not gonna be on him right i'm gonna go back to diego his battle came his, out right? seriously <laughs> and like he's told like oh your your daughter told us freddie finished what you started mm-hmm. uh you're going in as diego in the system right hope the cartel like whatever do- forgot yeah, about I you mean, or doesn't re- yeah, doesn't recognize I'm sure you i'm sure they the are system, yeah Ooh. Yeah. Right? And then we just start imagining all these crazy things that are gonna happen to him yeah. he's stuck in jail but it's like oh yeah. i wanted that for Paul. <laughs> yeah. And I wanted this episode nine. Yes. Yeah. Nine. Even nine would have been fine. Nine would have been so good. Would have been fine. Yeah. Yeah. But why did you share this in episode 10? Right? Right. Like you could have extended Mario's I loved, I story say, mm-hmm. with Melissa, with Al, with Marty. Yes. All of them. So much. So many things. Mm-hmm. Like just a little bit, a little bit more. Yes. And even a little bit more with alicia let's talk about normandy because i think uh, we got everything with navarro mulk right yeah I we got it so. we got it mm-hmm. poor diego mm-hmm. he's it's not gonna go well for him the normandy case oh my god 10 episodes so disappointed. <laughs> so dis- <laughs> all right so we start off with the phone mm-hmm. they're talking to alicia and yeah. they're like here's the phone and she's like i don't know which i noticed what? by the way this uh-huh. is just a side note she the shirt that the clothes she threw up on uh-huh. is the same thing she's wearing. So this is one day. Yeah, yeah. I know. I was like, that's interesting. This is all takes place in one day. Uh-huh. Uh, normally we're like, how much time has passed oh, by? Oh, right. Twen- this is one freaking day. Which I don't know why she was wearing that. Where would you even get that from? Was that yours? Was that provided from rehab? <laughs> what is happening there? With like a pink lady's jacket? I was she, so confused. And she had a, she a, was a, a blue heart. 
yeah. and like a orange under like a raggedy t shirt on top of a regular t shirt or something. <laughs> or was, like a weird tank top yeah. that had like a high neck. Mm -hmm. It was real weird. None of it matched. None of it. Not and with then her jacket. This, you're right, not with pink her pants, ladies. Not it was with like her a... shoes. None of it. It was like, I understand you're having a hard time, but where did you get these clothes? Who dressed you? <laughs> Who dressed you? Right? Because I feel like your regular clothes still would have been cute. Yeah. As a you Remember know, is star. it like episode two or three where they show up to her mansion and she's uh -huh. wearing like the kitty cat underwear right, yeah, and like yeah. the <laughs> robe? What happened what to that? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> what happened to the kitty cat underwear? Did your did you, you can't afford your stylist anymore. Is that yeah. what's happening? Is that <laughs> they got fired. Anyways, it, and I also noticed her attitude from the get-go was so different. Yeah. She was sipping on her little green yeah. juice, and she kind of already had attitude from yeah. the get-go. So it was very clear that, like, oh, okay, Alicia knows what's up now, sort of. As far as, like, the actor, I guess. Or the character, yeah. like, you know, yeah. knows what's going on. You know, I don't know. Yeah. I just felt like she was totally different. She was. She wasn't, like, she this was. weak little, Correct. you know. Yeah, because she's gone, like, on a pretty emotional roller coaster. Yeah, she's all over the place. She's all all over the place. She was not weak like we have seen her in the last couple episodes. Mm -hmm. But they ring the phone out and they're just like, we need to know the password. We got eight chances left. Mm -hmm. Do you know? Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> That's literally all they basically said to her. <laughs> and then she puts it in. She's like, Alicia. Yeah. And then sits back. Uh -huh. Very like, Duh. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, were we supposed to know that? I know. Was, I wasn't. I, I didn't under totally understand her attitude, but I like that it was different. That you know. Yeah. But, and even when Hildy asks but, yeah. her, like, do you remember? She's like, sure. Is that a yeah? Do you? Or yeah. do you kind so of you remember? Saying, are you excited? Are you gonna help us? Because we really have eight we chances. Found this? What's happening? We you can be mean? kind of guessing here, right? Alicia. And then she opens it up, and she wasn't even like, yeah. Okay, well, what are you guys gonna do now? Yeah. You know, or like, oh, yeah. let's look at what's there. Or Very like, nothing. Like, do you not care? It's like she doesn't. It's yeah, like she, she doesn't care. care. She was like weird. numb. Yeah, numb to the situation. Like she forgot about Normandy. Almost, yes. almost. So they've opened up the phone, and then they get Kiefer. And they're trying to find all the stuff, but everything's pretty blank. Everything's been erased. Everything right. has been taken care of. Aside from a voice memo, which I found weird. Yeah. Who uses voice memos? <laughs> I do. Why? All the time. For what? <laughs> I don't know. To like, remind yourself of stuff? No, that's I'm not a loser. <laughs> I'm sorry if you do that. That's very efficient. <laughs> and I support you. But what do you what do you use voice memos for? Me is like if I'm singing a song or if I'm recording something or like yeah, like if I'm usually like when I'm driving and I try to write a song or I'm trying to sing something. Okay, I guess that's like different. that. I, I guess yeah, that's different. That's what I but I feel like this but, yeah. was like you know this wasn't that. This was like con a conversation. Like, right. Who's like I'm gonna record a conversation right. unless oh, Billy that James. Oh, more common. People were recording conversations. That is really stuff, true. Yeah. That is really true. <laughs> unless Billy James was like, this guy's gonna screw me over. I'm right. gonna record this. Which why couldn't there have been like a flashback? Yeah. A flashback of their like initial mm -hmm. when he gave him the gun, mm -hmm. like get, oh, I would have killed to see that. Mm -hmm. A little flash, a smidge of a flashback mm -hmm. to when he did the, gave him the gun, mm -hmm. uh, to maybe when he walked into the club and saw Normandy mm -hmm. like from his perspective. That would have been nice. Was as he a, shaking? Was as, he like, nervous? A finale episode to show like the whole. This yes. is the stuff that we didn't see. Yes. How, yeah, and like I would have wanted to know, did Billy James do this like like confidently and was like, I don't mm -hmm. like you, I've been sleeping with your wife or your ex wife, because right. uh, we saw those photos right. with Kiefer saying like, oh, I see why he mm -hmm. liked her or whatever. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah. That was cute. Uh, oh, I would have loved to see something like that. Totally. Not to mention then then from there seeing like Paul's dad. So I guess apparently Paul's dad was one that killed Billy, but we didn't really see how that panned out. You know what I mean? Paul's dad. I mean, Paul's dad. Paul. Paul. Because yes. the one that killed Billy. It's like, Grandpa? Grandpa Paul? What? Is <laughs> the one that killed Billy. And we yes. didn't see any of that. We didn't see any of that. That would have been so cool to see. Like, why didn't Did we find out? Did he do it or was it somebody else that he hired exactly. to kill Billy? Why didn't we find Ugh. out? Like, uh, the whole bike thing. I thought Seriously. we would have figured out more information. Oh, okay, Paul rented the bike or you know something right. something right none of that was answered that. we didn't get to see any of that right. what was the point of even bringing that in seriously because what if answer? yeah like what if paul didn't pull the trigger so annoying you know <laughs> like how do we know he probably did it if he didn't pull the trigger for normandy how is he gonna pull the trigger for billy james yeah right like that Why makes no hire sense a hitman for this guy but then, <laughs> but then yeah. you I yourself wish... kill the other guy like yeah there are so many unanswered questions i feel like yeah. still 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 Still. So, so annoying. it's a voice memo that was uh, right on the timeline, and it's revealed that yes, he asked Billy James to kill him, tells him he'll have more money once he's in Alicia's life, yeah, and he wants to do it on the birthday. Mm -hmm. That is all revealed in a voice memo. Mm -hmm. It sucks. Uh, they are able to 
confirm that it's him uh, using a voice recognition technology. They eliminate Andrew Lipman for sure, mm -hmm. Alicia's attorney, and it is confirmed that it's him. But it's like, we already knew that. Yes, thank you. Even that whole scene, I felt like was a waste of a whole scene. Yeah. I liked the voice recognition tech guy. He was mm -hmm. kind of funny, and it was mm -hmm. sort of like, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. But that whole scene, I feel like, could have been wrapped up in a line. I where agree. Where it's like, oh, we got the results back. It this was for it. sure Paul, obviously, because we already knew it sounded we, like him. Exactly. We, well, we knew that. I could have told you that. <laughs> you know what I mean? You could have tweeted your viewers and been like, hey, that sounds like him, right? Yeah. <laughs> but no, like, that was such a waste of a whole scene, right? Mm hmm <sighs> yeah so much of it that i didn't mean i agree yep when they and did that no when surprises. Koto was like we can't do that and then he's like oh i recorded a, a voice blah 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 last time i interviewed him mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. you can't tell it's him yeah right there's nothing surprising nothing, about it, it wasn't I distorted maybe like, oh we're in here because he's gonna figure out something else yeah or like yeah oh this was like fake you know mm -hmm. this was just put together and you know yeah. placed on the phone or something like that right why why do you need this guy for this information that we already knew yeah we got it. Waste. So they're told to go get him. And while they're on the way to go get him, Cat Cooper, Alicia's mother, estranged mother, I guess you could say, yeah, shows up to her mansion and is like, Paul, let me in. Yeah. Cops have been here three times. I'm sober. All blah, blah, blah. Weird. Let me in. All weird. Yeah. All weird. I'm not going to lie. I was shocked. Oh, I was yeah. like, oh, <laughs> like, yeah. was not expecting My her. jaw dropped. My j yeah. It was a really cool moment, mm -hmm. but it wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. It wasn't as satisfying as you would think. Not at all. It was shocking. Yeah. Because it was her. And, and I didn't like expect how, it at all. Right. She just showed up and like, ugh. And you know, it's funny when, when he was like, I forgot how good you looked when you were sober. Yeah. Do a turn for me. I was like, ugh. As soon as he said turn around, I knew something was going to happen. You pig. I thought he was going to shoot her <laughs> for a second. But really? I was like, oh, wait, no, she showed up. <laughs> I, but then she shot him. I, I just was like, you are disgusting. Oh, yeah. And then she shoots him and I was like oh yeah oh snapple and I was like yeah shocked that it was her mm -hmm. but in, almost immediately I was kind of like why 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 and then she shoots him in the head like she why would you twice. give him that satisfaction she does you <laughs> I know that sounds alive. terrible is it making me a terrible person that no. I wish that he would have suffered yeah. more put him in right? jail Right? Like, it, just yeah. shoot him in the chest and then leave him there. Leave, especially because like, he was still alive. alive. Yes. Kick him up. He, she kicked him. him. She, yeah. saw, she kicked him after she after, hit him in the head. Yeah. He's not going to feel that. No. What's the point of that? Yeah. Or kill him very violently in a rage in with a, a knife. Yeah. I don't know. Just something bloodier. I don't know. It was just so unsatisfying. Yeah. I was so, like, uh, I just felt like he needed to pay more for 100%. what he did. 100%. Uh, I totally agree. So disgusting. It was almost like a favor to him. Because yeah. he was going to go to jail, pay for years, suffer, maybe, you know, drop yeah. the soap. You don't know. <laughs> and then she just puts him out of his misery, almost. Almost. Yeah. Hated it. Yeah. Didn't like it. Hated, hated it. <laughs> Shoots him twice, once for herself, once for Alicia. Calls the cops on herself. Mm -hmm. And she's like, I did it. Terry and Hildy arrive, and she's like, I'm glad it's you. It's less to explain. Is it? Okay. <laughs> cool. Two. Right now, we're going to have to explain this to everybody all over again. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's like, oh, yay, highlight of your day. <laughs> highlight of your day. Uh, and, like, they try and be helpful. They're like, did he come at you? Is it, like, self-defense? So she's like, no, man, I killed him. I wanted to. I'm happy. Let's move on. Mm -hmm. She doesn't deny anything. And, and she's like, at least he'll never touch our little girl again. Okay, you also could have sent him to sent him to jail, yeah. and he wouldn't have touched her. Yeah, and, there's a know. lot of things, you know. But now that's it. He's dead. Mm -hmm. He doesn't suffer. Now there's a trauma of your daughter dealing with. Oh, my mom killed my dad. There's that. Who I used to date. So that's cool. <laughs> yeah, right. Who I used to date. That's so I gross. lost my boyfriend and my dad. Right, and my mom <laughs> is the one that took him out. Can you believe that? Oh, so you that's thought. Terrible. So you thought that was better. <laughs> than your dad paying for, yeah. you know, yeah. like all the disgusting things he, he's done. Okay. All right. You Smart. know, Kat is going through a Don't lot. Don't do and drugs, she kids. Did, <laughs> seriously, I, I feel, I'm going to give it to Kat, the mom, that it, this was this was on in rage a little bit, but it was just mm -hmm. not executed the way we would have wanted it to be. Right. That's At least if it, it was is. rage, like, make it, it more satisfying yeah. for us. Yeah. She should have stabbed him to death. Yeah, I love she it. She totally should have. She mm -hmm. should have shot him once and then stabbed him to death. There's Boom. so many ways. Yeah. And even <laughs> Hildy, as they're walking out, Hildy tells her, keep your head up. Like, don't put your head down because, mm -hmm. you know, she, they're trying like to be that. helpful. Yeah, she, I thought that was very sweet. And mm -hmm. we'll talk about how Hildy kept being sweet with mm -hmm. Alicia. Like, uh, you know, they find Alicia at the liquor store because they get a call. Or she, she goes. Hildy stays with her mom when they're taking her into, like, 
the into custody and she's about to get searched and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Hildy leaves her and mm -hmm. goes find Alicia. Alicia wearing the same awful clothes that she's wearing at the beginning of the episode at a liquor store. And they have her. Apparently, she has an account at this liquor store. <laughs> she's a classy lady. Yeah, I didn't know you could do that. I feel like I've done that somewhere. Mm. I've been like, just put it on my tab. Right. And then I come back. And then I pay yeah. it off. But, you know, who knows when the last time she was there. Mm. This is Alicia Mar, She's a famous person. I'm sure they were like, whatever. You do whatever you want. She gets organic vodka. Yeah. Classy. Mm -hmm. Downs half Good of character. it. Mm -hmm. And then throws it up. Yeah. All over herself. At least and it's in, organic. <laughs> and in the cop car. Mm -hmm. And uh, the next scene... Where Hildy's, like, cleaning her up, helping her... Uh, rinse her mouth Rinse out. her mouth yeah. and is, like, holding her hair. And she has the vomit on a... Dude. <laughs> that is, like... Mm -hmm. That shows Hildy's soft side. Oh, yeah. I mean, and she's a mama. And so she's I feel a like, mom. you know... But, dude... She's dealt with grosser. But, yeah. I know. Vomit so is, like, the worst. <laughs> like... If I'm throwing up, I don't expect anyone to help me because I know how awful it is. That's ridiculous. Vomit is the just smelly. Like yep. it's like mm -hmm. I can't. God, what? Like rinse? Oh my God, yeah. no! Mm -hmm. She was all up in the vomit. Totally helping her out. Totally helping her out. <laughs> I was watching that. I was like. No, mm -hmm. I can't do this. I could never. I hope I never have to do this because I would, but I really hope I never have to. Uh, she, yeah, so she cleans cleans her up. And then I I noticed how we jumped to, like, the next scene of her in maybe the interrogation room. Mm -hmm. And then her shirt's all clean. I know. No me gusta. Yeah, I didn't like that either. No I noticed me gusta. It. it looked like maybe it was too clean, damp a little bit, like slightly, but it no, wouldn't it look like been, that. Exactly. It would not look like yeah, that. Yeah, they could have done a much better job. It was too clean. Totally look. Yeah. And I was also kind of thinking of why wouldn't they take that shirt off? Just take at the least the shirt. white one. At least one of them. Seriously. Right. Seriously. Doesn't the jail have like extra shirts or something? So, just uh, you something. Know? <laughs> but it was way too clean. It uh, bothered me. Yeah. Me too. Uh, totally. and so. <laughs> Hildy takes her. Hildy's trying to help her. Hildy's trying to help her move forward from this very tragic day mm -hmm. because it's true. Her father slash boyfriend was killed by her mother. Finds out that her father slash boyfriend killed her current boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Like so many, so many things. And Hildy is really trying to help her out. So like takes her to the morgue, shows her some a seventeen year old seventeen year old girl that had OD'd. Right. Um, and I thought it was interesting when she asks her, what did she take? And Hildy's like, who cares? <laughs> you dumb, dumb girl. What did she take? Why? I know. Well, I was thinking like, oh, so you can do it right so the next can, time. Right, so you don't do it again? <laughs> oh, I was like, you dumb, you <sighs> dummy. Uh, you're lucky Hildy cares about you. Like, I'm just trying to take notes. Yeah. How many milligrams of what now? <laughs> and speaking of how we talk about a lot of these actors who are very subtle, when she gets the phone and she's like, "Why? You, why do you, what's in the phone? And she's like, it's a conversation of your dad and Billy James like setting up killing Normandy. She's like, you want to hear it? And when you start hearing it, because we all know it's Paul. Yeah, we yeah. didn't need the voice recognition. Seriously. But, like, right as she starts playing it, her eyes uh -huh. suddenly change. Yeah. Very subtle. But they change as to, like, this This is this is Paul. This mm -hmm. is my dad. Mm -hmm. This is this is him. It was, like, no questions asked. Mm -hmm. No, like. And right before that, she had said, well, that can be altered. And right. she doesn't even fight it. Right. It was just like, yeah, that's him. That's him. <laughs> So she sees the dead, the overdose 17-year-old, and then she asks to see her mom. Mm -hmm. So she goes to see her mom. Cute. And they hug. Mm -hmm. They couldn't find an orange scrub top. <laughs> it was a t-shirt. Is that what they wear? I mean, I guess they could wear yeah, t-shirts Yeah, it was the first day. They weren't prepared. Oh, no. They weren't prepared. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. And, it was whatever. And then they show Hildy and Terry hold, hold hands. hands. And that's all we got. And that, that is the season finale of Murder in the Freaking First. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. What? Yeah. That's... <laughs> Listen. Not... Mm -hmm. uh, Curry Graham tweeted a little bit of the ratings. And they had, like... 
1.6 million viewers for the finale. That's awesome. So they did better than others that he had posted. So it was, I feel like it started dipping a little bit. I think it came back up. I predict it will be back. Mm -hmm. And I hope so. Mm -hmm. I hope it's back for season four. Totally. You know what I mean? I, I enjoy it. I hope I hope it comes back. I can't wait to see what the next crime, crime will be for, you know, season four. Mm -hmm. But um, a little under-satisfying. Uh-huh. For the season finale. Totally. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to end on, like, a bad right. note. Like, and I it's love not, the season. It, There's so much about it that I love. A lot of the direction I love, the production. Right. The way things are shot. Yeah. Like, a lot right. of that stuff yeah. I love. But, yeah, storyline-wise, I feel like we just... It didn't feel like a season finale. It didn't feel like a season finale. Yeah. Yeah. Because I of, enjoyed wasted, the episode. But we spent time on a storyline that we didn't need in the finale at all it, it, we didn't even need it for the season but you know yeah. for sure in the last episode it, i feel like for sure the last whole last episode should have been about just the normandy mario that's it. stuff don't give us anything else that's it why kill serena Parrish? exactly right Right? Why did we kill Serena Parrish? Right? Why couldn't Detective Kodo or Captain Kodo have someone in his life? Right? No reason. No reason. No reason. Not one. Why did she even exist? Why was she Why there? Why is she even in the season? What did she bring to the storyline at all? Not a thing, right? Was she part of it in a way? No. Never. Remember when they were like, she this is the third murder ever. to the Normandy case. No, it's so not. So annoying. It was not a so third murder annoying. to the Normandy case. And they couldn't bring back the hot guy? Antonio Brown, that's his real name, isn't it? No, that's a football I player. Don't know. I said that wrong. That's a football player, I should you guys. Know, though. He plays for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I I'm know tripping. His real name. I'm tripping. And I should know where he lives. Juan Antonio. And is that what it is? Maybe. Yeah, Juan Antonio. Something that Antonio. Like that. Yeah, Antonio yeah. Brown's a football player, so I apologize about that. But man, Antonio, why can't Juan Antonio? But you're right. All that. Ah. Uh, why? This is not <laughs> right. Seriously, I feel like there was another murder that was like, why? But I don't know. That one's the one that bothered me the most, Serena. I thought yeah. we were going to get more of that. You know, like after right. we figured out that it was an accident, that football player mm -hmm. pushed, whatever. I thought we were going to get more. I really thought it was all going to be connected, and it wasn't. It was pointless. <sighs> but we want you to come back. Yeah. So, TNT, pick them up. <laughs> Don't let us down. Mm -hmm. uh, let us know what you think. Thank you to everyone who has listened, watched, liked, disliked, enjoyed you know anno annoyed whatever we do to you <laughs> we really appreciate you sitting there listening joining in all the times you've tweeted to us commented everything mm -hmm. thank you curry thank graham you. thanks for joining us this season thank you we hate you as mario we hope you return <laughs> next year season four and you're sitting here again Ugh. we yeah. talk about your douchiness one more time uh, but everyone thank you thank susanna you. where yes. can they find you tweet you all the good stuff. All the good stuff at Susanna underscore Kim. Susanna spell S U S A N N A H yes. underscore K I M. Yes, and if you're still seeing that commercial where Susanna gets attacked by bees, yeah. don't smoke. Yeah, because you're gonna get attacked by bees mm -hmm. while your friends are watching a Coachella concert. Exactly, that's what it seems like, mm -hmm. right? Like mm -hmm. Coachella, the braid, the the flowers, all that pretty <laughs> stuff. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Monsi Bolanos, M O N S E B O L A N O S. Again, thank you so much for joining us. We hope we will see you next year for season four of Murder in the First. Yeah. Bye. Bye. From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.